Hello there, you stunningly attractive person you. I'm Chris from TechSpread and I'm here with two of the biggest smartphones so far of 2020 in terms of anticipation and excitement, not just the size of the things. Here on the left, you've got the OnePlus 8 and on the right, it's bigger brother, the OnePlus 8 Pro. And what I'm gonna do is a full side-by-side -side comparison to see how they stack up for specs, features, everything you need to know if you wanna snaffle one of these bad boys when they go on sale in the UK. And for more on the latest, greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, first up, as you can clearly see here, the OnePlus 8 is the more compact model of the two, something compared with the Pro. Yes, I know it's still a 6.55 inch beast, but compared with the 6.78 inch Pro, it does actually feel pretty good. And that's because both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro have very skinny bezels surrounding that display, especially at the left and right, where the screen actually curves around the edges. So yeah, the OnePlus 8 actually feels pretty comfortable to clutch. You've got a couple of little features to help out with the one-handedness, such as, for instance, the ability to pull down that notifications tab from anywhere on the display, though sadly there's no dedicated one-handed mode still in oxygen. OS 10.5. As long as you don't mind a bit of a handful, then definitely the OnePlus 8 Pro. Still nice and comfortable to clutch thanks to those curved edges and corners. And it's got a bit more heft to it at 199 grams compared with 180 gram OnePlus 8. Beyond the dimensions, the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro are very similar in terms of the design, apart from one key difference which you can't actually see. So they're both constructed front and back from glass. It's actually Gorilla Glass uh, to provide an extra bit of hardiness. Here in the UK, you can pick them up in a couple of different hues. This is the glacial green version of the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. As you can see, that it sports a matte, almost metallic style finish, which is great for hiding greasy prints and things like that, and should hopefully prove nice and hardy over time as well. You can also pick it up in a mirror black version if you prefer a shiny, glossy finish to your smartphones. However, while OnePlus assures us that the OnePlus 8 is fully water resistant, it'll be absolutely fine if you take it out even in the middle of a hailstorm, whatever you fancy. The OnePlus 8 Pro is actually the very first OnePlus branded handset to sport an IP rate and it's IP68 water and dust resistant so basically you can rock it in the jacuzzi the swimming pool wherever you fancy besides that the rest of the design basically the same you get the alert slider power combo here on the right edge bit of volume rocker action over on the left down below is your type c usb port and your sim card slot and no not a headphone jack in sight as usual both the oneplus 8 and the oneplus 8 pro have an in display fingerprint sensor it's an optical sensor nice and fast and responsive as you can see there you've also got a bit of face unlock so as you can see you can just tap the power button or raise to wake and boom straight into your desktops again no worries and once you're actually in there it is a nice bit of oxygen os 10.5 the latest version slathered on top of of course android 10 and it's basically the same experience on both of these smartphones there's only a couple of little discrepancy in the actual settings and that is only down to specific hardware features that you'll find on the pro that you won't find here on the oneplus 8 don't worry i'll discuss those all in a bit as usual with oxygen os you've got full customization support you've got a good bit of dark mode 2.0 now which uh, actually supports more apps which is great to see so let's uh, select a bit of that to get it on the go then as you can see boom dark modes you've got the same gesture support as usual you've got a nice bit of the new motion wallpaper as well but i'll be going through all of the software shenanigans in my full oneplus 8 and pro tips and tricks guide to so go check that out now the other area that really sets these two smartphones apart is definitely that display tech and i'm not just talking about the size of the thing either now both of these screens are what oneplus terms fluid amoled displays though of course OLED tech, although you only get full HD resolution here on the OnePlus 8 compared with the Quad HD Plus resolution on the OnePlus 8 Pro. I say just, of course, that full HD resolution is still absolutely fine for getting a nice crisp image. You have to sort of get in close and really compare them side by side to notice the difference. You've got HDR10 Plus support on both of these blows as well, so supported content on the likes of Netflix, Amazon Prime Video and the like looks absolutely stunning. Nice sharp contrast, natural looking colours. And speaking of natural colours, both of these OnePlus handsets have a GNCD, a just noticeable colour difference score of 0.4. I never even heard of JNCD before OnePlus clued me in on this. It sounds very impressive indeed. Certainly colours do look very natural in pictures that I've taken. They seem to shine through, look just as they did in real life. Another difference is with the actual refresh rate. You've got a maximum 90 hertz refresh rate here on the OnePlus 8. Here on the OnePlus 8 Pro it's a 120 hertz max refresh rate. So to be honest to my eyes, can't notice a massive difference between the two when you're flicking through a bit of UI action, playing a game, something like that. Both silky smooth. And of course you can fully customize those displays to suit your own personal preferences just by diving on into the settings. Slightly different setup between the OnePlus 8 Pro and the OnePlus 8, although you find that some of these features are basically the same. So you've got a vibrant color effect here on the Pro, which basically boosts the colors when watching video 
video instead of the more natural hues, but you've also got the video enhancer feature here on the OnePlus 8, which basically does the same. However, one feature that you will find here on the OnePlus 8 Pro that you won't find on the 8 is the motion graphics smoothen feature. This is fresh and new, and it's only available on the Pro. And as you can see there, what this basically does is it boosts the frame rate in supported apps such as YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and just allows for a nice smooth, finish to your video. I tested this out for lots and lots of different content. It certainly seems to work well for sports, anything with sort of fairly fast moving action that isn't right in your face and also anything involving panning as well. You can clearly notice it's a smoother transition on the OnePlus 8 Pro. Didn't find it made much of a difference on the likes of Fast and Furious and Action Flicks where it's really in your face and everything's moving so fast anyway you can't really tell what the hell's going on half the time. And yes as you've no doubt noticed by now there is a pinhole camera housed in the top left corner of that display on both the 8 and the Pro. It's a dinky little affair though barely intrudes on the action even when you go full screen so I wouldn't worry about it and you can knock it off hide it in the settings if you really want to and no worries on the brightness front with both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro they are positively eye searing on that maximum level so visibility even in bright sunshine not a problem the only other bit of display shenanigans that's worth mentioning before we move on to something completely different is the 240 hertz touch response rate here on the OnePlus 8 Pro which I do not believe is in the OnePlus 8 they certainly did not mention it in the spec sheet as for the audio, well, it's a stereo speaker output here on both the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro with Dolby Atmos support as well. Both very loud, uh, super great clarity on those top volume levels. I'd say the Pro is slightly louder than the OnePlus 8, but there's not much in it. Both will certainly do the job for watching a bit of movie, TV, whatever, in a very noisy environment like a kitchen. And you don't have a headphone jack, but you do have Bluetooth 5.1 support for a reliable wireless connection. Now, the rest of the specs, there's not actually much difference between these two handsets at all. You get the Snapdragon 865 chipset packed into both of them, backed by either 8 or 12 gigs of RAM. So, of course, super top-end premium performance on both of them. Great for your game and whatever you want to do. Of course, here on the Pro model, you do actually get DDR5 as opposed to DDR4 on the standard OnePlus 8. And that's just a little bit more energy efficient and also slightly faster read-write speeds as well. And of course, the Snapdragon 865 is fully 5G compatible as well. And you've got Qualcomm's X55 modem in both of these OnePlus handsets. So both OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro are fully 5G ready. And you've got a good bit of Wi-Fi 6 support as well. So basically, future-proof. We dive into the storage. You get a choice of either 128 or 256 gigs of space on both of these blowers. No micro SD memory card support. And both of them support UFS. 3.0 as well so again those fast read write speeds because the oneplus 8 pro is bigger it does have a bigger battery compared with the standard base oneplus 8 however it's a 4510 milliamp cell compared with the 4300 in the oneplus 8 but both of course have had a size increase over previous generations they both support warp charge 30t speed so super super fast for the recharging and the good news is that here on the oneplus 8 pro you also finally have a bit of wireless charging as well if that's what you've been hankering for all these years and including a bit of reverse wireless charging as well so you can charge up your chi supported uh, accessories such as wireless earbuds smartwatches things like that on the fly so now let's finish up by taking a look at that camera tech and as you can see the base oneplus 8 comes with a triple lens rear setup whereas here on the oneplus 8 pro you actually have a bonus fourth lens stuck in there as well so both of these smartphones have a 48 megapixel primary lens although it is a different sensor it's an imx 689 from sony here on the oneplus Eight Pro, whereas it's the oldest Sony IMX586 on the OnePlus 8. You also have a superior ultra wide angle lens on the Pro version, it's a 48 megapixel compared with a 16 megapixel. And while the Pro version goes with an 8 megapixel telephoto lens, giving you a three times optical zoom, you get a simple macro shooter here on the OnePlus 8. As for that final fourth lens, well, this is a 5 megapixel photo chromatic lens here on the OnePlus 8 Pro, which I will explain in a second. Now, I'm actually planning a full a side by side comparison of the OnePlus. 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro camera tech in terms of the photo and the video quality and everything so I will keep things very succinct right now but that's a quick look at the specs how they pair up as you can see the actual camera apps very very similar indeed you've got the option of shooting at either 12 megapixel or 48 megapixel uh, using that primary lens on both of these bows 12 megapixel of course uses a bit of pixel binning just in order to uh, boost the brightness in those sort of low light environments you can quickly and easily switch to those ultra wide angle lenses with a quick tap down here of course you don't have a telephoto lens on the stand Standard OnePlus 8, so you just get a two times digital zoom if you tap the telephoto option, whereas you've got the three times optical zoom here on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And then, of course, you've got the standard bonus modes as well, including the full Pro mode. If you want to dive in, get a bit of manual control, shoot in RAW format again up to 48 megapixel with full control of your ISO levels and all that sort of shenanigans. You've got a portrait mode in order to get a nice bokeh style effect in the background, and of course, you've got OnePlus's Nightscape mode for those low light situations. 
And no worries on the video front either, you can shoot up to 4K resolution footage at up to 60 frames per second. And of course you can use the full complement of lenses uh, here on the OnePlus 8 Pro as well. You can also swap to that ultra wide angle lens here on the standard OnePlus 8. Although as you'll notice here on the OnePlus 8 Pro, you also have an HDR option now, uh, which you don't get on the standard OnePlus 8, just to help out with those high contrast scenes, help you get a more balanced uh, final bit of footage. Now, as I mentioned before, OnePlus 8 has a macro lens, basic two megapixel effort to shoot macro shots. If you're really into your pictures of ladybugs and wood lice. Otherwise, the OnePlus 8 Pro goes in a completely different direction with its photochromatic lens, which basically drains the color from your shot while retaining texture and things like that. It's very interesting. We probably get quite arty effects with it. Uh, so I'll certainly be testing that out in full. Not entirely sure it's going to go particularly mainstream, but maybe some Instagrammers will get a kick from it. And then of course, if you swap to the front facing lens, you get a 16 megapixel shooter on both of these blowers uh, for capturing a lovely picture of your slightly fagging going crazy. I'm stuck indoors face. Uh, so that's great. And you can swap to the portrait mode for that as well. Get a nice bit of bocce action. Shoot up to full HD video, whatever you fancy doing. So there you have it peeps that in a nutshell is how the OnePlus 8 stacks up against his bigger brother the OnePlus 8 Pro. I think they've really nailed it this time because last time around the OnePlus 7T Pro didn't seem to offer enough of an upgrade over the standard OnePlus 7T to make it sort of really worthwhile but this time around OnePlus 8 definitely a great base handset will suit most people down to the ground gorgeous display fantastic performance decent battery life and all the kind of stuff you'd expect from a good solid mid-ranger but the oneplus 8 pro just offers that little bit more for the more demanding user you got your proper ip rating in there you got your super 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 duper 120 hertz screen with quad hd plus resolution bit of wireless charging as well for everyone who's been demanding that so yeah certainly if you've got a bit more cash to splash and you are a more demanding user i reckon the pro might be the one for you but what do you reckon definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest greatest tech and have yourselves a lovely week people cheers everyone love you